Legal Gangster, listen. If you have ever been arrested in Texas, it does not matter the county, anywhere in the state of Texas, if you have ever been arrested, you officially have a criminal record. Even if you are arrested, booked in, and released a second later, you still have a criminal record. Even if your case went to trial and you were found not guilty, you still have a criminal record until you file the necessary paperwork to have your record expunged or sealed, you still have a criminal record. This is not legal advice. This is simply the truth. I've been a part of the Texas justice system since 1993, and this is simply the truth. My guide, 10 Step Do It Yourself, Erase Your Criminal Record Guide, is your way to do this yourself without the expense of having to hire an attorney. I'm going to go to the table of contents so you all can see the things that's in here, starting with step one, getting a copy of your Harris County criminal record, because this guide, of course, is specifically for Harris County. Step two, find out if you qualify for an expunction or order of non-disclosure. An expunction totally destroys the record. An order of non-disclosure seals the record. And it has, when you go under it, do you qualify for an expunction? goes to the page and it tells you everything that's necessary for you to qualify. Do you qualify for an order of non-disclosure? Go to the page and you find everything that shows how you qualify for an order of non-disclosure. Steps three and four, select and fill out your petitions. Um, the first one is the original petition for expunction of criminal records. It tells you everything you need. Then it goes into the orders of non-disclosure, which there are 10 types. Okay, and there's the section numbers for all 10 types. Then it tell you how to get your supporting documents, step five. Step six, see if you qualify for indigent status. That way you won't have to pay court filing fees um, or service fees. Step seven, teaches you how to file your petition and where to file your petition. Step eight, go to your court dates and hearings. Step nine, remove your criminal record from all background check databases. And that step, even sometimes after you have done all these steps, steps one through eight, your record will still be in private databases. The state will remove it from the public databases, but they are still in over 750 private databases. And this step teaches you how to go and remove it from the private databases. It's so simplistic. But again, it's right here in my guide. And then step 10, get on with your life. Okay. And, and this part, as you all can see, this, let's see, let me go to it right there. Rights restoration is included in here. Firearms rights restoration application process. And it's also included in here. Everything you need. Steps 1 through 10. And that is it. And the guide is packed full of pertinent, important information. This is the physical guide that goes to the digital interactive guide. If you purchase the um, if you purchase the digital interactive guide, you don't have to purchase this physical guide because it's the exact same thing. You can just print out the paperwork, petitions, forms, whatever you need. You can print them out as you go. This guide is just a physical guide that has already has everything in it. Okay. Let's show you some of the things. The lines are for you to be able to take notes. Teaching you how to go get your record, pull your own record from Harris County. Once you pull your record, this is the worksheet where you fill all your information in because you're going to need this as you fill out your petitions. Expunction. And it just goes on and on. It tells you stop what does not qualify, go what does qualify, and it goes on. 
letters that's necessary to write to the district attorney. Already preformed letter. And it goes on and it is a wealth of information. Example of petition showing what needs to be added to the petition. It walks you all all the way through it. And then not only do you get the guide digital interactive by alone or digital interactive with this companion, um, you get monthly support. We have monthly Zoom meetings where we come together. And you have a community in which you can help one another. All righty. Just flipping through the guide a little bit for you all. The different sections. Information. This is a letter right here, expunction request for relief to the judge. Your prefab prep letter that you, it's a template. All you have to do is fill in your information and keep it moving. This one is an order of non-disclosure request for relief. All of this is in the guide already for you. File your petition. Tell you how to go about filing your petition. Locations to file. Order non-disclosure information again. Prefab letters. Harris County Courts. All the court information. Email addresses. Phone numbers already in here for you. Going to court here in step nine. Removing. Get on with your life. Uh, let's see, I want to show you all. Let's see if I can go straight to it really quick. Let me go to the table of contents. I am looking for your petition step six um see if you qualify for indigent status i'm going to go to page 105 i want to show you all something like i say i've made it extremely easy for you all let's see did i go too far no Okay, this is it. It talks about see if you qualify for indigent status. Here's the information. And you also have the federal poverty guidelines and this is updated. It's current and it tells you what amount you need to earn in order to qualify. Okay, so I want to show you all. Again, it's all in the guide. All right, legal gangsters, this is Sean Lacey, a.k.a. Ms. Officers, signing out. Bye-bye.